Hello and welcome back to Caltech Gaming. So we are going to continue on playing uh, We the Revolution. It is now Act 3, Day 6. And I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched our episodes the other day. Uh, seems like you're really into this game. We more than doubled the watch goal I had for yesterday. Uh, so love to see that trend continue and to get more subscribers and... Uh, you know, some comments telling me what else you would like to see or what else I could do better. Uh, that would be great. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy. Alrighty, so we have today... Neglect of duty. During a fight in the suburbs, four lancers from the enemy troops were detained by our, our militia regiment. Our soldiers shot down their horses and then stormed the inn which the cavalry men had run on foot. Restrained and gagged, the enemies were taken to a temporary headquarters located in a small farm in the country. There was no time for interrogation as the counteroffensive was still underway. Instead, the prisoners were detained in a storage village guarded by a 17-year-old private... Victor Deval. Following protocol, he was armed with rifle and pistol. In the evening, one of the officers wanted to move the lancers to the general staff. He found the guard was sleeping near the door, and one of the cavalrymen had managed to escape. His companions must have lifted him up and helped him remove the old rusty bars. The escapee gave away the location of our field staff, and we lost our prisoners. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Victor Deval. Mm, yes, Monsieur Le Judge. How old are you? Seventeen. Children were responsible than that fellow. Okay. How long have you been in the army? Three weeks. You ha already have managed to commit a war crime? That's not really the definition of war crime. <clears throat> Do you know the possible consequences that await you? Uh, Do you want to say something? Yes, sir. I did not intend to let the prisoner go free. Well, there you go. That's a pretty good start. Alrighty. Um... Really? That's a trap. How rusty bar? Whatever. Uh, okay. Let's say some events. Farm in the country. Crime scene. Uh. He was accused of sleeping and the fight is an extenuating circumstance. I don't see how that works, but all right. So let's take a look at this guy. Where are we going? So we need some revolutionary support right now. Revolutionaries want him dead. So unfortunately, son, you are gonna get railroaded into being dead. Sucks for you. Why were you so tired on the day of the incident? Were you fighting? Only in the morning, Monsieur Le Judge. Why? My column found itself under artillery fire. There was a panic and we escaped. In the old days, we fought like men. What happened to us? Did you run too, soldier? Standing right next to me was torn in half by round shot. I escaped because you were scared? Yes, I was scared. Let me guess, you were also too scared to shoot the prisoners. If I hadn't been sleeping, <laughs> better stop talking, boy. Uh, the headquarters were located at a farm? It was an old house, more like a shack, surrounded by a few buildings, a pigsty, a penthouse, a woodshed. How did the prisoner escape? They had to pull the bars out. The building was barely holding itself together, most of the judge. A slight push was enough. Houses like that, the door is like to fall off. Did you not hear anything? No, monster. I only wanted to close my eyes for a few minutes. I hadn't had much sleep at the time. In a few weeks in the army and you're already exhausted. Yeah, you are awful. Go away. He's young. If he didn't want to sleep, he would. An officer woke you up? Captain Burr, he was so angry that he almost shot me on the spot. I'm not sure the judge. Could have taken your weapon and killed someone. I know that, sir. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate, because he's still in this area. And we know that'll help him. And we can't let him get away, because we will lose, unfortunately, the game if we do. So... Unfortunately, you are going to get railroaded to execution. How many soldiers in the headquarters when the prisoner escaped? 
about 30, I think. The officers, too. They were sitting a bit further away. The cellar was near the pigsty under the woodshed. Were there any other guards? Exactly. 30 culprits, but one scapegoat. I think they were patrolling along the fence. None of them caught the escapee? Apparently not. Sir, the judge, call in the witness. Please introduce yourself. Captain Burr. Hey, those had two different spellings in here and in his name. Uh, is that all you have to say for yourself? I do not have time for this. Barrier here, and then it's got Y's down here. The enemy was coming at us. We're wasting our time on traitors. Uh, oops, wrong. I should have chosen that one. I told him to guard the prisoner. Meanwhile, people were supporting Colonel de la Montagne's bank. The troops were engaged or something. Okay, that still didn't help him. We got him up to execution. So, good enough. Sorry for you, uh. Uh. Whoever the heck you are. Um. Victor de Valier. Your death means we get to continue the game. It's unfortunate, but I didn't program the game. Did he confess? Um, sure. Maybe? I'm gonna say yes. That counter revolutionary, yup. Was he fighting on the day of the incident? He was in the war. Deserted on the battlefield. How many lancers? How did the lancers they cry? Pull the bar from the window. There you go. A savage kills a kid because he's sleeping. The one that's me. Hey, those are all the right answers. <laughs> Alright. Let's move on. Sorry for you, 17-year-old. The revolution demands sacrifices, I guess. This game, you know, just makes you feel dirty. And you have to make these choices. So, carefree. Attached. Sensitive. We're gonna try humility on these. Okay, so it's okay on that one, but bad on that one. Right. So we'll do manipulate. Hold on. Give the speech. So those are alright. Yay! Got satisfied. Four more rep. Don't, I'll uh, never fall asleep on duty again, I promise. Well, yeah, without a head, you're definitely not going to fall asleep on duty. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Sometimes that's the way them apples fall, balls break, something. I don't know. How are you feeling today, Bernard? What do you see? Pardon? I asked you, what do you see? You, my son. No, you see a monster, mutilated, humiliated, stripped of his dreams. It's not true. There's much that still awaits you. What is it that awaits me? A career? Look at me. I'll never be able to play again. You wanted that, didn't you? Say it. Never. I don't believe you, and I never will. You used to say that you would take care of us, but no one can stop this madness, this terrible revolution, or this damned family with corpses rising from their graves to harass the living. Or maybe it is a sign of the times. What about the people who were decapitated because of you? Will they all return to kill us? Maybe the king himself will open his tomb and pull off my legs since I still have them. I am sorry, son. I truly am. Look at his fist grabbing the table. Cloth. That's great. 
I'm sorry too. Now, excuse me, I need to think of ways to waste the rest of my life of mine which you have spared with your cruel mercy. I suggest the laudanum that we had in a prior case. I, I think you'll find that more than satisfactory, assuming it actually has opium, because we tried somebody for not putting opium enough in it. That's a no-no. I think they got the death penalty. I don't know. Somebody can go look it up. Can we give them? Uh, uh. Let's see. I think right now we want to take the evening with the soldiers. Try to boost morale a little bit, maybe. Maybe get that effectiveness up a little bit. That would be nice. Okay. Running house is now a field hospital. Now every time you lose a physician, you can recruit one. That's good. I don't. Yeah, we don't have enough influence to do it right now. Spend time with the family, that never seems to work right now, but we'll go with it anyway. Okay, so we have Garrison Full here, we've got Musketeers, City Guard, and Infantry. Infantry, and Defend, Close Combat, Perform Ranged and Melee for City Guard, Musketeers, Ranged. garrison here. This garrison is not full, unfortunately. Ooh. Something's going to try to attack there? Hmm. And we can't stop it? Well, where the hell is it attacking? I, I don't understand where that attack's even coming from. Can't do anything about it though, apparently. That's BS. Oh, this attack here too, we screwed up and didn't defend. Because I forgot about this other bridge. Oops. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, I think we're gonna get wrecked here. Guys out here. Eight, nine, eleven, twelve. And that. So these guys up here, I guess. And hope we can defend some of these. Unfortunately, um, we get two attacks in areas that we can't defend. That's not good. I screwed up on that, big time. Hey, this one we should be able to win, though, I hope. Uh, or maybe not, they have cannons. Let's see if we can take out some of their cannons. We're gonna get wrecked in the assault, though, I think. Pressing fire here. Let's see if that maybe helps us a little. Ah! Mm. Three versus seven. I don't think this is going to go well. Yeah. 
10. What does, how long that lets us hold out? Probably gonna lose. See how many people we can get out of here. is the answer to that question. Alright, this is not going well. Oh, that's a, um, we're in a heap of trouble. Because I can't do anything about these attacks. And we're not getting more... Ooh. That's unfortunate. Um... We did a kind of bad job in planning yesterday's retreats and whatnot. Um, this me up. Oh well. Gonna have to live with it, I guess. Lots more people got killed. Because we screwed up. On those two areas. Day 7. I'm leaving. I need to take our son away from the sick city. Do not try to find us. We're building. Our wife is taking our son and leaving. That's not real surprising. Given how angry she's been for quite a while. And we have a case regarding burglary, destruction of property, theft, and assault. The family of a 33-year-old baker, Bastien Baudet, moved into an empty house near Section de Pix. They told the investigator that a few days earlier their house had been hit by a mortar and the shell's impact broke the ceiling and one of the walls. A few days later, Baudet and his family were discovered by the owner of a seemingly empty house, Citizen Solo. It turned out that he had not left his house permanently. Several days earlier, a fire had broken out in the neighborhood and the Solé family temporarily ran away to stay with relatives in the suburbs. The legitimate owner soon realized his cut silver cutlery was gone, his food supplies were consumed, and some of the furniture had been chopped up and burned in the fireplace. During the interrogation of both families, we learned that the first meeting between the two sides ended with a struggle won by Bodin. Only thanks to the intervention of the guard was Citizen Soleil able to rid of the unwanted tenants, and the impetuous baker was detained. Ugh. This is a mess, isn't it? Um, well, right now, the, rev the aristocrats want him dead, so we'll probably end up letting him go free. Are you Bastien Baudet? Yes, Monsieur Le Judge. You moved to, into Citizen Soleil's apartment without permission. There's lots of empty apartments in Paris. We chose one of them because we didn't have anywhere else to go. A resourceful man will always find a way to care for his family. Did you ask anyone for permission? There was no one to ask. It was empty, so we went inside. I couldn't let my children sleep under the open sky. Legitimate point. Um... Really? Alright, well, we screwed that round up pretty good. Um, the questions, like, sometimes they just don't make sense with the options. I think there needs to be better translation work done for the English translation of this game on the question rounds, because it, sometimes it just legitimately makes no sense to me given the other options that we know are going What made you believe that Citizen Soleil's apartment has been abandoned? Nobody inside, and the ash in the fireplace was cold. There's bitter chill to these nights. If someone had been living there, it, there would have been a fire recently. The owners ask, uh, did you ask the neighbors about them? You should have started with those. No. Why? Never occurred to me that I should. I was too busy looking for food for my children. Did you sell the silver cutlery? Have you seen the price of butter? 
Nobody would give me food for wooden spoons. What about meat? Did you ask how did, how much do they ask for lamb? Bloody merchants? Ooh, now people want him dead. Um, the aristocrats, though, are the only ones who really want him dead. So we're going to probably ignore the jury on this one and let him go. Um, do we have a better question? No, that'll just make it worse. Uh, either way, we end up pretty low, but I'm going to go with the acquittal here just because, yeah, it's a war zone. The guy, you know, is trying to do the best he can in a war zone. It sucks, and certainly we've killed people for less, but, um, you know gotta make choices in this game and there are choices and it feels terrible but I think that's kind of the point of the game isn't it three lumber mill workers Jean Francis Burnett Albinson and Matthew Carbonneau raped their employer's daughter prior to that incident they threatened harm to his family if she didn't pay their overdue salaries Ugh. yeah sorry still don't get away with rape uh, Anne Durgin set a building on fire. Among the inhabitants was her former husband and his new partner. The arsonist was shortly seen breaking the cellar, entering before the fire started. There were roughly a dozen other people at the time. Only by sheer luck did no one die. Ooh. I think we're going to let her go, even though we shouldn't, just because of the support. Oh, wrong choice there. Two grave robbers, Marcus Philidor and Abu Dovinger, started fighting over a new grave. One and stole the clothes belonging to the deceased. Yeah, we don't really them. And now the aristocrats hate us. Awesome. Well, let's hope it's not a game ender that the aristocrats hate us. Great. Did the defendant confess? Yep. Was it counter-revolution? No. Why did he leave their house? Destroyed by a mortar round. Did Bode talk to anyone before entering the house? He did not talk to anyone. Was the house empty? Empty since the inhabitants were evicted, the host had fled fire. Where will they say? And what did matter we said? Better to the account. Okay, sure. Um, yeah. So we're risking a game ender here due to the uh, aristocrats hating us now, but oh well. And that looks like a game ender. We get stabbed in the back. Okay. Well then, I guess we're gonna have to go do things a little bit differently that day. The aristocracy performed the assassination. Okay. Well then, we're gonna have to make some different choices, I guess. Let's try that again. We're fast ending up in a situation I don't know that there's a way out. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we've already read this, yeah, okay, click through here and get our questions, um, okay, so it's not that, okay, well, we found both traps, traps are these two, so if we have to do today again, we probably will, um, Somehow that question makes them want to kill him more, even though it's marked the other way. Uh, that's crap. Aristocrats want him dead. Fine, you know what? We'll do it the other way. He can have the death penalty. There. How do you like them apples?
get. The rape. Uh, we don't really like that. And that. Oh. Two grave diggers stole the clothes. Okay, that's fine. The fire starter. We'll let her go too. And these guys, yeah, well, we're gonna let them go even though they rape people because this game is awful and about doing terrible things. So if I don't, I get murdered. Yay! Or uh, I think this one actually just has you lose your office because we had it happen in yesterday's video. Uh, okay, did he confess? Yes. Counter revolutionary? No. Order around. He did not talk to anyone. House was fled from a fire. Sign it. Mm hmm. All correct. The verdict is execution. Okay. So, unfortunately, that's what we had to do to make it through the day. Um, yeah. This game definitely, definitely makes you feel like a horrible person because you're making just terrible choices destroying your family destroying the country uh you know everything okay so attached is careless as is carefree over sensitive is manipulation let me guess that. I mean, I did guess it, but I think that's a process of elimination. Once we've tried just about everything else. I hope you take care of the children that are losing their father because of you, you bastard. Yeah, I hope I do too, but I am kind of a bastard at this game. Plah! Where are they? Where is my son? I do not know. Mathilde did not say anything. There were a few tears, but mostly silence. I saw no need to ask for further details. I knew she would not tell me anyway. You let them leave the house. Why should I try to stop them? Did they leave because of me? Everyone left. I am still here. You're still my son. I am not who you wanted me to become. <laughs> no. And I, I will believe in you until the end. It is the end, at least for me. Yeah, I got freaking murdered in uh, the rerun of yesterday, and were abandoned. Uh huh. Great. So now I have to defend this with one soul. Awesome, because I won't let me put them into there, and it won't let me put them into the other places. That is, again, just bad program. Why can you not, like, prepare for the assault? That is so dumb. Because it just screws you over again. Because you got screwed over once. Now you get screwed over twice? I mean, that's really dumb program. I think we're going to rapidly be heading into an unwinnable scenario. Uh, we can recruit a physician. Let's build barricades. Hopefully, maybe they'll help sometime. And start doing these fights. We need some wins here, because things are not going our way. Sides have lost their cannons. I think we're a little stronger than them. More than a little. But. Should 
be able to win this, hopefully. Been a while since we've seen a successful battle. Of course, that means we're going to lose next round because I put all the reinforcements up here. And we didn't necessarily need them. Crap. We are definitely screwed in this game. Pretty sure. Logistics. Number escape. If they die in battle, you'll have to recruit a new one. Yep. Well. I don't know if there's a better way you should be picking these tactics, but I'm just going by the biggest red stuff. And sometimes, if I see a defense line icon, I don't really know how it all works yet. But that seems like we got wrecked more than maybe we should have. Let's take the one that's defensive while killing the cannons. to continue with the frontline assaults here. If anyone has some idea how this one system works, feel free to let me know. But I'm just kind of playing it by guess right now. Move these guys up here. <coughs> Logistics specialist. Uh, there. Can't move guys over here, which is really frustrating. That's what we'd like. But won't let us. So we're gonna lose this battle too, killing another whole group of people, which is unfortunate. Here. 
So that's the least populated section. Yeah, this is gonna go poorly. So we're just gonna defend as much as possible, I guess. I'm guessing that is like one round. Hey, we took one guy with us. All right. We'll count that as a tremendous loss. I don't know how else to count that. Still got one of the islands. Yeah, this is not going great. Um, four more days we need to hold out. Uh. And we're barely holding on as it is. Yeah, they're gonna catch up and exceed us probably tomorrow in having killed people, which means we'd have to go way back in this campaign to fix it. So I think this campaign is pretty much over. Ready to crater out here pretty quickly. Several minor cases for the day. <clears throat> Arnaud and Theodore Crozer sold a large number of barrels to a wine to a local merchant. They allowed him to try the wine for a few marked barrels. Later he found out that the other containers were filled with water taken from a river. Oh, those bastards. Death penalty. <sighs> Thomas killed his 15-year-old son in the shop. There were no witnesses of the incident. The culprit testified that he only tried to slap him, yet the blow was strong enough the boy lost his balance and hit his head on the heart. Ugh. And you're supported by our low faction, so we'll let you go. But that's fucking terrible. Don't beat your kids to death. Please. This game's awful. Marge Angie Happen Laundress killed her young son by throwing him on the floor. Her neighbors testified for many weeks they'd heard the boy crying. The, the revolutionaries, I swear, are the worst friggin' people. Look at this. Another beat your kid to death. And we have to let him go. <laughs> Sewer cleaner, which congestion waste blocked the flow. Smelly water and excrement flowed into the squares of the city. You can only guess how many people felt uh, ill due to his negligence. Okay, that one I don't feel bad about. You know, yeah, he screwed up, but it's a civil war. You're not, like, cleaning the sewers when there's a friggin' civil war going on. Um, Jordan Maitre, 76 year olds, had to fight with his wife for the last 52 years. He, he went to a prostitute angry. He was seen walking with her to her apartment. The accused claimed nothing happens because he lacked physical strength. His wife supports the accusation anyway. What? I don't even know what you're accused of. Who cares? Eugene Dumont. Eugene Dumont invited Lambert Maitre to supper at his home to discuss business. Once the conversation was going, Eugene uh, Dumont told his butler, Hector, to serve the guests a poison meal. Mm, he survived, but is still suffering from the result of the incident. He can't be having poison. Sorry, aristocrats. That guy gets dead. The people hate, are now hating us, the revolutionaries hate us, and the aristocrats don't like us much. Yeah, our career is cratering out hard. But I kind of think that's the point of why this, the way this act is set up this way. I mean, so you feel good there at the end of Act 2, and then just everything gets pulled out from under you. Okay. Matilde. We get stabbed by our wife. Add to the list of understand. people I get stabbed by. This is the third person that stabbed me now? Oh. Father. Oh. Twice in the Do gut. You hear me? Always. Oh. I fixed you. You will live at least for now. Where am I? Uh, who are you? 
I am the truth about your unhappiness and the lie about your greatness. They are both the reasons for your presence in this place. Where everything started. I don't understand. I repaired all the damage, as I always do. You will live, but do you want to? Are you ready to admit that it is my performance, my show? Name's the puppeteer and Matilda. Is... I love her so. I know, but she no this longer returns meta. that love. Not for a long time. Yeah, that was I pretty obvious. I made sure of that. Who the hell are you? I am the truth overcoming the lies that you keep telling yourself. The lies that you are here for power. For the numerous choices and endings. I have not designed you for that. Designed? I mean, this is like the you Game Maker's avatar? To is that what this is? To make others laugh or grieve. To Ooh, wow. feel. That, that, it's now a little close is the now only real choice this. you will ever make. To die and never feel anything again. Or to really feel what being a true hero is like. I am a judge, not a... Tell me, when was the last time you read all the files connected to a single case? Uh, they never the last time those. you really heard everything the accused had to say? Uh, not often. I need a hero, not a judge. People want to be heroes. <laughs> The goggles. How could I? Why? My wife wanted to kill me. My family hates me. Oh, this is a Fight great for their lives. here. The, the Half the city wants me dead. All. Fight for Paris. My brother comes with an unconquerable army. Then be a shield for the poor and terrified souls who, who do not have anyone else to defend them. That's kind of what we're trying to do, but I could open them. your wounds instead. And you will never suffer again. Perry would fall. But uh, since you are not interested, I would find someone in your place. Here is the choice you craved so dearly for. Choose life or choose death. Oh, wow. Um, I mean, I guess we're going to choose life because presumably this is just game over. Will they accept me? They do not have to, but you will defend them anyway. You will become a legend for it, and one day they will appreciate you. Now rise up. You have to defeat him. Yeah. Well, um, mm -hmm. everybody's attacking from everywhere and add units to the battle, so they all have to go in here. This is going poorly.
Seven. Six versus four. Versus two, I think we're gonna pull this one off. Just barely. Population zone. Fight this battle. Probably gonna lose. much damage because of the entrance. I don't know if anybody's been watching to see are we doing better against the defensive generals than the offensive ones in general or there's some, I mean, obviously they have a mechanic where that's their most likely tactic, but I don't know how to exploit that really yet. I'm not really paying attention either. But you can probably use that to predict in some way and therefore take the best tactic against it, I guess, instead of just what I'm doing. But I don't really know which tactics are best against which tactics either since it doesn't really show us it in an easy way to see. dead next turn. They're not low anyway. What can we do with our stuff? Um, more barricades, I guess? Within sections that neighbor enemy sections will gain a bonus to defense. Okay. Still just barely ahead. Three days. We're hanging in there just barely, but I don't think it's going to be long until we're done.
The defendant, well, you know her very well, Monsieur Le Judge, attempted murder. But you know what she's been accused of, but as a diligent clerk, I shall continue for the sake of thoroughness. She has been accused of attempted murder yesterday, Mathilde Fidelhe. Bill the way. Used a kitchen knife to stab her husband, Judge Alexis, at the entrance of the Revolutionary Tribunal. According to the witness, she was immediately overpowered without trouble, and the defendant threw her weapon onto the ground and offered no resistance. Unfortunately, I have a record with an additional piece of information. It seems that the defendant had an affair with the former commander in chief, Francis Henro. Yeah, we pretty much already knew that. It was, was able to determine they had been seen together several times after he applied for the position and searched his apartment after death, found letters suggesting a relationship with a married woman that contained no names. It's easy to ascertain who the commander's lover was, but now we have no doubt. At the same time, a potential motive for war murder has been revealed. As we know, Henry was killed after a skirmish defending Robespierre from our troops. The gossip concerning your family relationship I will mean true silent. Okay. Who in the hell thinks it's appropriate to have the judge be the victim? Like, what? There's so many things wrong with that that, like, I can't even begin. Like, the idea that a victim would preside over a trial. What? That is so mental and so wrong. Just everything about that. Okay. Hey, we got all the questions. Everyone wants her dead, so why were you so calm during the arrest? I stabbed you in public. How could I escape? That's true. You stabbed your own husband. Did you even feel anything? Only sick when I see my husband. It's been like that for a long time now. No, no. So you feel no remorse or crisis of conscience? My only regret is I stabbed him too late. I mean, you stabbed him in the gut. Chances of you surviving two gut wounds in revolutionary France? Probably not good. Telling me this to my face? Deserve to die. Who else could say that to you? Okay. Uh, do we want to continue? Yeah, let's continue. We'll piss the crowd off a little bit, but how long did the affair last? Since Hanrio came asking you for his support, it took quite a long time. No shit. Were you able to keep it secret? I wasn't blinded by it. I knew it in the first friggin' meeting. Also, a person on YouTube I watched uh, and pointed that out at the first meeting. I don't think I would have to kill my husband to get rid of it. Giving myself to another was certainly no help. Didn't even notice. Finally, you noticed something when I pushed the knife between your ribs. Yeah, yeah nice. When you had your affair, did you consider, consider the impact on the family? I certainly hoped it would make an impact. I hoped for my husband to disappear, at least leave, and for my family to survive, at least some part of it. As far as I know, you still hold the hope. As far as you know, I'm no longer fooling myself. I will soon be dead. The fact that my family is falling apart is no longer my problem. Not your problem, how can you say that? You are a mother. Don't you dare. A mother. One of my sons was hanged. The other will remain a cripple for the rest of his life. And why? Because of your hunger for power. Yours. You sitting there. You are to blame. Hold your tongue. I had to watch it happen, accept everything, and I couldn't stop it. You played with our lives. That knife between your ribs is the first chance I've ever had. A chance to change anything. Wow. She's pissed. And kind of with good reason. No intelligence. Well, it says right up here, everyone. It's so dead. Ugh. Sentence our wife to death for trying attempted murder of us. That is so wrong. Like, just everything about that is wrong. Yes. Yes. Uh. You want to get It's not counter revolutionary. I'm the freaking judge of the tribunal. I think that was counter revolutionary. Ugh. Crap. 
Watch me get gallows for that. Eh, whatever. Yes, let's give a speech about killing my own wife. Why not? I perceive no way that can Alright, so he's found attached, was careless, and bullheaded. We know it's not quite aggression. Humility? Ah, it is humility for bull. Oh, look. It's not the same, even though these are the same. Huh. So there goes our theory that it has to do with the attitudes. So it's not. So you can't predict this just based on the attitudes. Huh. Well, there goes my whole way I've been playing the mid-game and, and late part of the game. I mean, this is still a decent speech, but... I, I don't know what to take from the fact that we have to spend a resource, and now we're realizing that this is random? That seems... I, I don't know what kind of design that is. That doesn't make a lot of sense. For this convict here, killing was easy as breathing. We don't get a special speech for a wife? Really? That seems lame. Really? And then they hate it because we gave the damn speech for we really lose another rep. Useless. I will join my son in heaven. At least I will know I will not find you. Yeah, gee, you're definitely right on that one. Um. Wow. Off with her head. Yee. This game is. Yeah. So we've now lost our son, and our, had to kill our own wife, and this son's lost a hand. Ugh, eating the soldiers, barricades, provisions. Let's see if we can make him more effective with that. Yeah, surprise, surprise, they assault everything that we can't and now we can't even move these things out to the... Oh, that's so annoying the way that works. Like, how is this not, like, just the cheapest... Like, I can't even move these guys out now. They're stuck there. So I won't be able to move anything in unless I win a battle, which probably won't happen. So this is just game over, basically. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about this. I mean, maybe that's the point, but... It feels really dirty. Yeah, okay. No freaking way we're gonna win this. Let's watch my guys get freaking demolished. so it really doesn't matter. Ah! 
Oh wow, somehow we did look through that round. That's pretty amazing. Well, let's take out as many of these cannons as we can, I guess. Maybe that'll prevent them from being used against us? I don't know. I don't know how it calculates their forces. I don't know if they play by the same rules we play by. Probably don't. Meaning this is all kind of useless. How the hell did you live through that? You're definitely not going to live through this one, guy. Another section, and yeah, we're definitely going to lose this battle, so I can't even add my reinforcements here. So we'll probably next turn lose that, ending the game, one would think. Suppressing fire stops them. I'm coming in. Nope. There it doesn't. Well, buddy, this is where I would probably run away. But, but you can be neutral, I guess, and still die. Hasty. Yeah, well, that was a thing. Sure, we'll spend some time with the family. Can't add any more forces. I can't. Oh, I can switch them out. Switch those guys out for these guys. about all we can do, really. 5 and 7 is 12, so it's not going to let us do anything else. Crap. Well, it sucks to make it this close, and then we're going to have a campaign ender here that I don't think I'm going to be able to fix without going back and playing multiple days. And probably not going to do that. Right. Because as of now, they're ahead, and I don't see any way to fix that. Day 10, also known as the end of my run, I would say. Minor cases. We really just needed one more day, but didn't get it. Adrian hired a prostitute, tied her up, beaten, cut, burned, tried to scream, he choked her. The victim managed to escape, otherwise she'd probably be dead during your interrogation. He didn't say a word. Death penalty. Delise and Blondo, prostitute working in a brothel, uh, was beaten to death, thrown out of a cart. Didn't leave anything from her colleagues, but one of the clients told us that she wanted to stop working there. For certain, her bosses are responsible for the death. Yep, on the death penalty. Stop trying to kill prostitutes. When they announced a sentence imposed on a common thief, Bernard demanded that the criminal be decapitated soon. Someone in the crowd creating a dangerous commotion. The guard had to fire a few shots to stop it. That's hell about us being an asshole as a judge, because we totally are. Valerie stole high-quality clothes from the laundress. Dressed in them, he tried to scrounge a loan from a Parisian bank. He was denied at once. The bank clerk quickly realized he knew nothing about the trade he purported to be in. Um... 
Eh, he didn't get the loan. So, I'll let him go. Denise, there. Uh, Paul Soleil. Paul Soleil driving too fast with his transport of goods. Lost the wine barrel, turning the corner. Unfortunately, knocked over a seven year old, crushing his legs. Child is currently unable to walk. Ugh. Ugh. And we have to let him go because of the low faction? That's garbage. Denise stole a horse belonging to Louis Brochard. The animal was tied against a post outside the marketplace. The owner began chasing them. The thief made the horse gallop, destroying several boxes of fruit and wine. Yep. That was a crap day. Look at this. Garbage. What a way to go out. And now we'll advance to where we lose the game. Sorry, we got a little scene here first. Um, sure, we'll barricade up because this is the end. Yay, all these soldiers that I literally can't use. A reway attack into us. Awesome. Um, We get in here and click that? No, oh, it just goes to this. So this is where we lose. Awesome. For lack of being able to make it one more day. Oh, that sucks. not have been the right choice there. <coughs> so, three versus five. Maybe. Somehow we can pull this off. Somehow they take out four of our guys doing the same thing, and we take out one of them. Yeah, that's... that's not going good. Well, I think we just got screwed. Get him! There's two of you! Get him! One guy left! The two of you can do it! Team up on him! Shoot him! There you go! Yay! Uh, somehow we won that garbage fest. Well then, I guess uh, everyone else gets to come in. So that's what we're going to have for next round. Fun stuff. Um, sure, let's recruit a physician. We won't.
and the day. Mm. Yep, they win, I would say. Gonna be real close, but oh. <laughs> Tinville disappeared. The jury did not show up. Everyone's in a dark nook in Paris to curl up and hide. Not expected to judge any case as long as Paris is under siege. Yeah. Um, barricades. It is. Could have done evening with soldiers. I don't know if that would have helped more than barricades. But yeah, did not arrive. We have to hold out longer. Relief never came. Um, well, there goes that hope. We have to hold out longer now, uh, which isn't going to happen. Uh. We have these guys in, these guys. Yeah, I think that's our, our best mix right now that we can get in there. So, yeah, let's do this fight. And somehow hope we can pull this off. Take that or the neutral. I think we take this one. I don't know why, but I'm just guessing. These guys up in the front. It's kind of my theory here. Oh, so it ends up five versus four. All right. Well, we'll take that. Hopefully, that will break in our favor. One v one. Um, get him. One guy. I, I I don't know what you do, but go get him, buddy. I don't have any idea what these do because it doesn't show me that you have anything. Yeah, hung on by our our one guy. Ugh. I don't know how that works, but... Well, let's add some more guys. Now, do we take a shooter or a close combat? We already got these guys, so let's take a shooter. Be better if I can get them out, but oh well. Um, hmm. 
sure, we'll spend more time with that as the only thing we're left. I guess. Okay, so nothing else, just a fight. Well, let's fight. 71%. Uh oh. Uh, I think we're dead here. Lots of offense, interesting. And this is the aggressive guy. Huh, maybe we got lucky with that. Which of these we want to choose? Because I have no idea what they do. I think maybe these arrows are trying to tell us something. was an anticlimactic uh way to go. We're gonna get blown away by cannons. Can't do anything about because all I have left is some junk left. be able to break that one. Well, there you go. The anticlimactic end to We the Revolution, I think. We'll see if there's any special events for screwing up. But I think this is pretty much it for our revolution. Our brother's force of nasty people that we judge or something. Poorly, I don't know, come take over the city and kill him. Apparently. The one last holdout. There you have it. The end. And some guys are coming here and pushing them back, apparently. that young soldier who came to the rescue. His name is Napoleon Bonaparte. I don't know him, but that's not important. I won. Paris stays in our hands. We did. You won. I thought we I lost. I never wanted to take over the city. 
I've just introduced you to your new dictator. I won. People will greet Napoleon with open arms. The new will come, only to forget about you and once again flood the country in blood after a hundred years. At this very moment, the new is entering the city, leading an undefeated army. I won. Not as long as I'm alive, no. I have a pistol on me. Why don't we settle which one of us is favored by God, Cain or Abel? The favored shall kill the loser. Shooting him in the head. Really? Okay. You thought that the Go revolution back with will dice you, again? But it was nothing more than a wish. Life. Ugh. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll pass with that. That's a pretty good hand. Five fives. I wonder if this one's weighted too. You have all believed in this romantic rebellion. Tell me, how did that revolution differ from what we are doing now? Oh, should have used the reroll on this one. Well, we don't know if this is a two game one either. But it definitely seems weighted to. <laughs> Our advantage. Um, we'll pass. We're way ahead. Whereas that other one, we just got crushed. The one where we're playing. Did she not for become a fight to the death? A chaotic game with only one currency. Chance. I really don't think this is chance. I mean, these rolls are nowhere or are way higher than any scores we've had before. And yours are way low. So I don't buy this being chance. <laughs> the traces of our crime will be washed away by the morning rain. We will not be there since. Once again, brother will kill brother. Who would want to be a hero in such a world? Hmm. Winner! Napoleon saved us! Hero. <laughs> the son of the, the puppet maker here. We're supposed to see that as the last thing, I guess. Who won? Puppeteer. He's like hiding at the kids playing with the Napoleon doll. Okay. Who shall be next? What? It's like an epic rap battle of history. Ed. How did they they just stumble into that with that translation? What? Dawid Sislak wrote and directed the game. 
Patrick Poluak, David Sisla, David Sisla, Zuzana Sabolska, Parts de yeah. So I think this is definitely made by a Polish group, from the look of the names and what I saw on their Discord. Uh, yeah. So, that was We the Revolution. A surprise victory, I guess you could call that? I don't know. Do you call that a victory? I mean, we did some horrible, horrible things, but we didn't really have a choice either. Um, I, I guess that's the... The point? And you could, you know, ask some questions about the creation of heroes or mythology here, but I don't know. Um, very moody game with the art style. Like, wow, you know, I, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, wow, yeah, the 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 son's drawings were really great. Until they, they stopped coming, of course, once he was killed. But, um, yeah. We the Revolution. This looks like modern day. Who is buried here, Mother? The man who saved Paris. Remember his name, son. Huh. It's our hero. Presumably that's in a real park somewhere. So that's, you know, them saying he's remembered as a hero who, you know, was a terrible person doing terrible things. Wow. That is a hell of a game. Um, yeah. I mean, very much if you liked uh, Papers, Please, or some of these other games about making choices like that, I mean, this is right in that same vein. Just a little more so. Um, we've got all the, all the pieces here. I mean, they did a great job making this game. Congratulations. Uh... Poly slash Clabatter, I guess that's who made the game, just by the fact that they're in the lower left hand corner there. If that's not who made the game, then, you know, thank the developers. Uh, great experience. I hope you enjoy watching it. I certainly enjoy playing it and talking through things. Um, I don't think we're going to come back to this one anytime soon. We may at some point come back and make some different choices and see if anything changes. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, if you want to see more of this or similar games, let me know. Uh, yeah, that's that's about all I've got to say for today on We the Revolution. Um, not sure what's next. I may do some Dead Cells this afternoon uh, or something else. We will see. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful afternoon.